Hey everyone and welcome to Cape Cod French Bulldog. Today I'm going to be coloring in day 18 of the Christmas countdown advent calendar and I'm finally going to be doing all 18 days so far of the Lego Friends advent calendar and the Harry Potter advent calendar. So today it is a glass of milk and some cookies. The cookies do not have any frosting on them as you might have noticed. You can put frosting on it with like puffy paint because that might look more icingy, but I think I'm going to leave them regular cookies. So it's, it could be a glass of like protein shake that you leave out for Santa. I don't know, do people leave protein shake out for Santa? But I am just gonna do that and now I'm gonna use my very stubby brown pencil and I'm gonna do that shade nice and lightly and then I think I'm gonna go over it with a, a lighter tone because that probably doesn't look as good but I'm gonna leave my gingerbread man colored in because he is a gingerbread man do you people like gingerbread I've never liked gingerbread some people like gingerbread some people don't like gingerbread it's just a preference I suppose so I'm gonna make my Christmas tree a sugar cookie so that's gonna be a nice peachy color. That looks maybe kind of burnt. Maybe it's a burnt cookie that you're giving to Santa. I remember one year I made a special custom cookie cut for Santa and it ended up looking really kind of bad. So I am going to maybe, I don't know, what color in my plate, red. You can do you can color in your plate whatever color you like. I'm just doing it red. You could leave it white. You could add on a pattern. You could make it rainbow. So yeah. Also, there is only one week until Christmas. Christmas is on a Friday. Now it is a Friday. And that means we have only one week until Christmas, which may seem kind of insane. To me, it sound, seems insane. Does it seem insane to you? It seems insane to me. We're gonna do the Harry Potter advent calendar as we have been doing daily. So we have Harry Potter, Yule Ball poster, a candlestick from day one, super duper mini micro Hogwarts from day two, mini drum string ship from day three, Mini Bulbathorn Parish from day four. Cho Chang in her dress robes from day five. From day six, we got the Goblet of Fire. And you will notice that if you store it in the little cupboardy egg carton thing that it came in, it does not always like to stay there. From day seven, we received a photograph that will probably burst your eardrums. From day eight, we have the couch with the golden egg. That's a nice shiny egg. From day nine, we got the table with the bottle of butterbeer. Day 10 was Ron Weasley. Day 11 was a fireplace. Day 12 was a little window, a little window sill with the bottle of something that I don't know and it's kind of really annoying. Day 13 was this tree with a lovely star on it and some ice crystals. Day 14 was another window that can go on the fireplace as it has these little clips. You can put it on either side of the fireplace. I've just decided to put it on this side of the fireplace. And that has a chocolate frog on it, so these are maybe some Christmas presents. Day 15 was... Padma Patil. She was Padma Patil. I, it's very confusing. You have to kind of search it up. But yeah. On day 16, we got these little twin trees. And you can take the extra little star. You can take the extra piece that you stick the star on and the extra star from day 16 and put it on... From day 13 and put it on to day 16. You can also even take the little blue thing and put it on there. Very descriptive words I'm using. Um, I can't seem to find it, but I might do it. Day 17, 
was yesterday. We got a lovely little piano. Oh, yes. Here's the little blue crystal-y thing. And I'm going to put that on there because it just makes it look a little bit nicer, maybe. And now there's a bigger difference in the height of these three trees. And now they're all different. There's a little piano here. And you can see that my extra pieces have fallen all over the place. There's a little place to put a sheet of music for the player. And today is day 18. On, eight, on the 18th day of December, my other hand gave to me something. It's definitely something. And I have no clue what on earth this is. It's probably like a table with stuff for the Yule Ball. And you will notice that there is this. So maybe it plugs into something. We'll see. You can see that here, it shows that there is a fuller table with two sides. So maybe tomorrow we're gonna get the next side of the table. I don't know. And who does? So you're gonna take this with the holes, and that's gonna be very important, and put this little blue bit on it. And then you put the curvy white piece here on top of that. And now we have two little bottles. One of them is yellow and one of them is green. It's probably just food or condiments or something like that for the Yule Ball. There are some leafy bits here. And then there are these red horn clip things that I have no clue what they are. I don't know if they are decoration. They seem to curve around the centerpiece of the table, which appears to be a lot of ice. So they go like that and without the ice the table should look something like that so far and then we have the centerpiece of the table one and then there are four no there are three cylinders yes four there are four cylinders and they go like this is. and then one of them up here is double and they all have these other crystals on top and then this goes like this on top of that and then it should look like this because you plug in the ice centerpiece in the front so that it looks like that my best guess is that tomorrow we are going to have the next little part of the table, maybe with some more bottles. That's my best guess. I could be completely wrong, but it would make sense if it is a two-parted thing. So. so we finished the Harry Potter advent calendar, but as you may have seen, there is another advent calendar lurking right here. It finally arrived. I'm very excited about it. So let's get this thing opened. Okay, we're gonna go through 18 days here. I'm extremely excited. And cut the tape. Nice and good. Here we are. You'll notice that there are footprints in the snow, mini doll footprints, and you might have noticed that on this part of the other advent calendar, there were footprints also. Day one, we got Emma. I was very excited for this advent calendar, mainly for this Emma, because of her shirt. There have never been any pajama-like shirts with the lego friends you can see that it has like a moon on it and there are stars and on the back there are also stars so 
She has snow boots on, which will probably take away the comfort of her outfit. Um, but there's that. She has a her regular Emma expression. Her regular Emma hair. And to brush her regular Emma hair, she will obviously need a hairbrush. So I'm going to pop her back in there. Day two. A little table. So this is probably maybe one of the elves' works ta work tables. Let's see. So it's a lovely striped table. It's purple with a white stripe in the middle. There's a list, which is probably most likely the naughty list and the nice list. And they're probably maybe all those check marks are for the kids that are on the nice list. And maybe there's one poor kid that that's on the naughty list. And they obviously have some cookies and milk to do that. And to check off who's naughty and who's nice, they will need a pen. So I'm just gonna put that there. And Autumn, on Anna, what is her name? Emma. Emma can sit there and eat the extra cookie and sit next to the pen. Day three is a little fireplace. You can see that it has a little stocking, very similar to the design. Well, it is the exact same design as the stocking from the Harry Potter stocking. It's just in different colors. Well, it does have a different piece, but... So there's a little fireplace with a tiny fire in it. And you can put that on top of it. And here we have a little mantel place and the little hook so that we can attach our stocking. Make it nice and slanted. And then on top, there's purple, maybe to tie in with the purple table. And a tiny little holly, I'm assuming. Maybe it's some mistletoe or possibly like a wreath. And then the stocking is all red and they used a two by one piece for that and it hangs kind of at an odd angle, but you know, they don't want it in the fireplace because that would be a, a big fire hazard and that's a, a large nope because you wouldn't want your house to burn down on Christmas. That would probably be very horrible. Day four. I have no clue what this is. My best guess is that it's a little mouse with a table. Like a, maybe like a tile countertop with a pretzel on it. I don't know, is the pretzel supposed to be a bow? And you'll notice that there is a flat back to it. Maybe this is a work table. I have no clue what that is. I think it's maybe supposed to be a tile, but I don't know. Day five, a mailbox. And clearly this is a mailbox so that you can mail your letter to Santa. Although Santa letters usually don't have stamps. That's just, do Santa letters have stamps? I assume they didn't. And it's a red mailbox because a lot of mailboxes are red. You can slit your little thing in there to mail to Santa. And there's some snow and you can maybe add on the extra piece for some more snow. I think that looks so nice. Day six. I can see it has a bow on it. I'm assuming this is our first elf. Now the elves are literally the exact same. So it's a micro doll with a little, no bendy arms or anything, but a little cute expression on the face. Very adorable. I think all of the little kids have eyebrows like this in the friend sets. 
that are coming up, the ones that are going to be released in 2020, I think they have things like that. And there is an extra bow, so you can put that in Emma's hair, like that. And the elves can only hold things with the, like, the hair accessories, so that's kind of sad, but, you know. Day seven. Maybe this is, like, the gate to get into the elves' workshop. Oh, I don't know. So this is a nice little big one. Little big one. So maybe there's like muddy ground and you have a stone. So there's like a stepping stone and then a, a little pebble. And it's in maybe like, maybe it was made red and white or maybe it was just decorated for the Christmas spirit. So maybe, I think that maybe there are ribbons around it because there is like a, what I'm assuming is wooden top. And maybe you can add in this other pebble here. I like pebbles. So there's a, it's snow capped, obviously it's rained and heart, snowed, obviously it's snowed in Heart Lake City because there is some snow on the mailbox. And you do have some snow on this archway. And there's a little wreath there. Something like that. And maybe I'll put those next to each other. Day eight. Where is that? Day eight. Oh, look at this. It's the first of the many workbenches. There are lots of workbenches in this set. And it also comes with two blue roller skates. I have roller skates in orange and black, but I do not have roller skates in blue. So there's a green stripe here. And you have this little clip on the side to hold the tool that the elf is using to make this toy so it's a little maybe a duck pole toy thing for a little kid so that goes like that and the little chisel on the side i can put that over here with our little elf with his workbench day nine It's a little spaceship. A remote control spaceship. Oh, this has two bags. That's strange. They must have just manufactured this one. It has two spaceships, so that's very interesting. I do not think that all of them came like this. This was probably just they accidentally put two bags in there. Maybe there's another one, I don't know. So there's a little thruster on the back of our ship. And it has a tiny window cockpit. Very streak and sleek and streamlined and then the remote control. You could build this if you have the pieces and I will build that extra one that Lego sent me later. I have no idea why there is an extra. My best guess is that they accidentally put two into there instead of one. Day 10. 10, 10, 10. Is maybe like a little gingerbread house making station. In last year's advent calendar, there was a little gingerbread house. So this one has some mint pieces if you don't have any 
pieces in this color and there are also some lovely transparent pink pieces that create the base and then a mint counter a minty blue countertop i call this minty blue i think lego classifies it as light aqua but i call it mint blue so this could be just a baking table tray but I feel like it's maybe a gingerbread house station. It could be, it could not be. There are some cookies on there, so my, I think that maybe it's like a baking table instead of a gingerbread house making place. So there's a cupcake on there. And then I think I'll put that over here and Emma can just eat all of this food and the little guy can have cupcake and pretzel and lots of food that a mouse would want to eat. And then day 11. Oh, this is my favorite one. This is probably my favorite one by far, but there is one that almost is my favorite one, but I really like this one. I think it's very pretty and very classic also. I mean, how many times like in the movies have they shown elves working on toy trains? Like this is just kind of iconic if you think about it. So two gold roller skates make the wheels like that. And then you have the little steam part that lets out the steam. And then this is the conductor's cabin here. And that goes backwards so that you can have a little window. And if you look at it from the other side, it looks like this. This is what it looks like from the other side. And then there's a pot of gold paint for the elves to paint on the gold wheels because they're obviously not gold wheels. I mean, they've got to be painted gold. Maybe a kid can have a mismatched pair of roller skates for Christmas. You could do that with the extras because there's an extra blue skate and an extra gold skate. So that was day 11, day 12. a nice little simple one. Another present, we have a skateboard. So clearly they did not wrap this up because you could maybe put it in a box, put it under a tarp, or you could just slap a bow on it. Clearly the elves just decided that it would probably be best to slap a bow on it. So you take a star and you put on a little yellow bow and you can make an extra bow. Nice, and maybe put that on their work table. There's the skateboard. So that was day 12, day 13. Ooh, this is a table that looks just like the, it's a table, the table is the same as the gingerbread house cookie making tray station but it has something different on it so the work tape i've i know that the work benches are all the same they all have like purple with tan tops and maybe a stripe of green or a stripe of blue so maybe all the food related tables are gonna have these kind of legs and a minty blue or light aqua countertop so this has some waffles. This waffle print only comes in one other set. and Well, it comes in a couple of other sets, but if you don't have any and you have this set, you will now have two waffles because this is a waffle press. So in the amusement pier, there was an already printed waffle in the waffle press, but as it has not been cooked yet, 
it's just a blank waffle. So you can slam that down on it so that it becomes a, a lovely waffle that is already made. So you have your little waffle with the strawberries on it and maybe like a pot of maple syrup here. And my best guess is this is either whipped cream or maybe strawberry syrup or something like that. So yes, there we go. You have a lovely waffle. And I will put that over here with our other food related thing. Food related thing. Yes, it's a it's a food related thing. And you get an extra waffle. You can like shove that on the table. And a pink hair holder piece that comes in a few other sets, but not super duper common. 14. So this is my other kind of favorite one. And maybe that's because I was once extremely obsessed with penguins. So it's a little toy penguin, really, really cute. So you have its little flappy wings on the sides. And the belly, the white belly of a penguin. And then I don't know if Lego intended to do this, but it can bounce up and down because it actually has a little toy turnery thing on the back. It's like a wind up toy. So here's our penguin's beak right over his belly. And then he has a sort of top hat, but also this provides his eyes. Look at that. How perfect is that? Bling, 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 and he has corally feeted toes, footed toes. I'm gonna put this over here and there's a wrench and I'll shove that on the workbench and maybe there's a another wind up toy thing. And maybe you can, maybe if there's another skate in an, or another roller skate, you can have two mismatch, mismatched pairs of roller skates. For Christmas. We have one row done. All right, so that was day 14. Day 15, ah, oh, there's a bow. And it's the other elf, so you can see that. 24, it's actually one week from Christmas, as I said earlier in the video, so six days from Christmas Eve. I bet that they that under the ball is Mrs. Claus because that's when Santa departs. This elf is literally the other elf's identical twin. They did not change the eye color. They did not change the eyebrow shape. They're the they're identical elf twins. Elf twins. And the only thing that differs them is this gold flame. And I'm assuming that gold flame is like a piece of ribbon or something. Yeah, so that was day 15, day 16. Almost done catching up. This is another work table. Um, it does not have the green stripe, so I think maybe there's going to be another green striped table, but this one has color, is the same as the toy table, and it has some more bows, or it has another bow, and where is that? Yes, right here. And this goes into here, and this is wrapping paper. And you cannot put in the other plug because that would not fit. So you have to do only two plugs, and that's like a roll of wrapping paper that they have at the stores and stuff. So this is maybe like a pin cushion. Why do they have a pin cushion? Oh. This is another bow. And that sticks up because of the stud underneath it. There's yet another bow, so now we have two extra bows. Maybe we can stack them precariously on this table. 
or not. I'll just put them in a pile at the bottom. And then there are some scissors and you can never have too many scissors. Just don't leave them lying around for mischievous elves who might end up crying because their identical elf twin threw the scissors at them or was running around with scissors and was being extremely dangerous. Day 16, day 17, only one day left until we're caught up. So today are some presents. Oh, I forgot to put that back in 16. So some presents. These are some new box prints, and they're not complicated presents that you used to have to build. So this present has sunglasses in it, and it has a little thing on it. And this present has a bow in it. Again, there is a little thing on it. But seeing as there is an extra bow, you can have a little bow that the other one had. And I think I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna take off that little piece and replace it with this bow because I had plenty of extra bows. And you can also um, find the other skates, the extra skates. I'll just take the nearest ones that I can find. So maybe you wanna be one of those cool people that skate around the park at night, but you also need to have some sunglasses because I don't know, you want sunglasses. This is the one that had, the one that I replaced. So you can stack those up, shove them in there, and then not have the sunglasses. Or you cannot do that because they don't fit. That was just an idea. But maybe there can be some skates over there. I don't know. So there is only one day left until we are all caught up. That went actually really fast. On the 18th day of December, my mom and Kanda gave to me a fire with a jug of hot cocoa. I'm assuming. Squish all the pieces out. So, same kind of flame piece we had before. And then this is probably the jug of hot cocoa and you get some teacups. And there's a third teacup so that the elves can have them even though they can't hold them. So I'm excited, now I have six teacups total. Okay, so that was day 18. I will see you back tomorrow for the next day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow where we do day 19 on the Harry Potter advent calendar and the Lego Friends advent calendar. Bye.